what is good y'all so basically today i am doing a meal prep video actually it's tonight i went to the grocery store and got a bunch of really really good things i've been on this fitness journey for a little bit and it's been helping my mental health and all sorts of stuff so i'm going to show you guys and take you through how i meal prep because i don't meal prep uh individual meals anymore i find that doesn't work for me it's very time consuming and also i don't like eating the same thing exactly every day so what i like to do is i call it food prep i'm basically making large scale sizes of different dishes that I can use interchangeably. Just think about anything in your pantry, your kitchen, that takes forever to make. Or think about anything like, journal this down, anything that makes you feel lazy to make. For me, you know, that's like things like potatoes and rice and basically anything like that. Or just cooking your protein if you're using chicken or anything. Those are the things I like to prep in advance. But depending on what it is, I like really fresh food. I like food that's cooked fresh. And I think that's why a lot of us love fast food because even though it's junk, it's cooked fresh, it's hot, it's warm most of the time. If it's something that I like really, really, really fresh, like a uh, salmon or something, I will add all my garnishes to that first and like season it and just marinate those things until I'm ready to cook it. And then I put labels on all my stuff. And then if it's something that I can tolerate having um, just heated up, like chicken strips and stuff like that, that I'm just gonna throw on stuff or in wraps on sandwiches, then that kind of stuff. I cook on my meal prep day. I hope all of this is making sense y'all but I just wanted to give a brief intro of everything that I like to do first. Containers okay so these containers are the ones that I use for all the big meal prep uh, stuff. One hour of intensive cooking for four days of delicious eating you know what I mean I feel like it's worth it rather than spending I like to basically do all the stuff that doesn't require a lot of eye attention first. So that would be things like rice, because I have a rice cooker, I've been using it since college, it's the most wonderful thing. You don't have to check on the rice, you don't have to stir it, you don't have to do anything. Self-timed, it turns itself off and it's perfect delicious rice every time. Shout out to Manny, thank you for getting me hip in college because we used to have rice all the time. Things that are done in a slow cooker, things that are in the oven, those are the things you wanna do first. And then while those things are marinating, doing their thing, that's when we do anything on the stove. So it looks something like this, you know, just about two cups of rice. I like for my rice to have some really good flavors, so I'm going to actually add a little bit of celery salt, boom, and then some cumin. And then last thing, this is a little extra, but I'm going to add this fresh piece of rosemary right on top. That's just gonna add some additional flavor while we cook the rice. Now we're moving on to another thing that's going to sit on its own, and it's going to be some slow cooker stewed beef, lean beef. Girl is not vegan even though it appears that I am because of a lot of the stuff I eat. I am dairy free though. Hey y'all, may I introduce you to my handy dandy slow cooker, okay? This was one of my staples in college. I had a really small one that was just, you know, good for a college apartment kind of situation, but for the holidays, this was one of the things I asked for because clearly, you know, I have some kind of obsession with appliances anything you can put it in your crock pot and it'll just mend all your spices together but it's long term and you don't have to check on it that often you just gotta set a reminder but also the fragrance of all the fresh spices and herbs will totally be your reminder all right y'all so here's some of the ingredients that we have right now um since this is like a stew kind of thing you can go pretty crazy with this literally so I've got these nice colorful carrots I'm obsessed with rainbow carrots then we got some celery I always get the name of these mixed up like spring onions or whatever the green onions so yeah and then we've also got one whole white onion and we've got a small baby jalapeno just for little kids before we get started with these fruits and vegetables I have to say something okay wash your meat this here is my beef my lean beef i had them cut it into cubes for me at the store because if i'm going to buy 
beef or anything at a butcher, I'm putting them to work because that's also something that's messy and I don't really care to do at home. So just FYI, if you're going to a butcher or anybody to get your meat, have them cut it up for you if you're planning to have it served cube like I am because it saves a lot of time. Still have some white distilled vinegar. I use this a lot for cleaning in general and it'll get the job done. I put a little in the bowl to start. Then I'm gonna take our brand new, extra fresh, grass-fed beef. Oop, oop, sorry vegans. Can trim the fat or just take some of it off. Some of it I just pull off while I'm in here. All right, once that's done, make sure you dispose of any napkins you used, anything that you touch while you touch that raw meat. Wipe down your soap dispenser. I wanna get a hands-free one so bad. But yeah, this is our meat in here. And then we're going to take this vinegar off and we're gonna pour and I diluted a little bit with water because you don't want to use up all your good thank you, but it still gets the job done. And all you're gonna do is just let that sit in there and soak for however long it takes you to cut your vegetables up, okay? This is what the vegetables are looking like now that they're done. But for a lot of people who might wonder about meal prep, it's like, okay, you did all this prep and you still gotta eat your dinner. So what I'm gonna do is actually casually just steal a few of the vegetables from over here because I like to do everything at once, y'all. Then we're gonna take some of these because I was actually making dinner on the side. So we're gonna start mixing these all up. But this is not a tutorial for dinner. I'm just showing the multitask game is strong. Also, while we're here, I'm gonna point out that the rice is done. Look at that, y'all. So yeah, when it's done cooking, it goes back to the keep warm setting, and yeah, your rice is just ready to go. This is the crock pot, the crock pot. So what we're gonna do now is, remember that meat that we sanitized earlier? We are going to dump <laughs> her in there, and it's not gonna make the most pleasant sound. A little bit of garlic powder some Italian seasoning so it's just a blend of like oregano and a lot of Mediterranean herbs notice I also didn't season this meat um, while it was being soaked and all that especially not with salt because salt is a dehydrating agent and it's used to dry out fruits and, and meats then I'm gonna add some ground black peppercorns and just a little bit of that I just tilt this to the edge and just Gradually start pushing those in and on top. Then what you see here, I'm gonna try to like mix some of these veggies up. Cause I like, I like it to look colorful, you know, just to start out and stuff. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some bone broth. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour this whole thing in here. Also y'all, right while I'm about to dish it out, look at this dinner pesto. Another major key y'all is garlic puree. Okay, let me tell you. This will have any dish just tasting like you, you freshly chopped up your garlic and stuff. So while all that was happening, I have washed some chicken and literally just gonna make a nice little garlic and herb butter kind of marinade spread. So this is just like a ghee butter. And now to this mixture, we're actually gonna add some more of that garlic puree. Then I'm gonna take some poultry seasoning. This has a little bit of everything I was gonna add anyway. So it's got sage, thyme, a little bit of salt, oregano, mustard powder, basil, cayenne pepper, oops, my camera keeps slipping, and black pepper. All right, after we did that, we're gonna add a little bit of, uh oh, no. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper in here. Just a little bit. Some dried chives. It's gonna give it a little color. Some of those thyme sprigs we had, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the fresh herb. And again, this is all in process, so I'm gonna cook some of it with it, and then some is going to go on towards the end of the process, so you have a little bit of a mixture of the tastes. I'm gonna throw in this lemon juice. I'm gonna do two nice size spins of that. I'm gonna just kind of literally mix it up in the most haphazard way until it all looks literally the same. All right, so I'm gonna be using some coconut oil cooking spray. It's the first yeah. thing okay that you need to keep an eye on. When shit getting crazy, they don't ever really like the headphones. Nah. 
Now the whole crew in different time zones. Jay wouldn't want us to say, so we live one. So this is what the chicken is looking like. Underneath here, I just have like a nice little vegan butter. And I just keep going around in the pan, taking some and just keep drizzling that right on top of your chicken. This is what a finished piece should look like. These other babies getting to that point now, but look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. This is basically that bowl that we had from earlier. Excuse my counter, it gets a little hectic over here. Um, with all the green onions, those are all mixed into the salad with some tomatoes and some cucumbers, all chopped up. I'm gonna wrap this up real nice and squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it so that the leaves stay fresh. Also proud to say that our stew is currently all finished. The herbs look really crazy, but we're gonna stir her up real quick. When I'm ready to cook with all of this stuff, all I'm gonna do is um, give it a good season, probably put it over some either potatoes or some rice. So this is what the beef kind of broth thingy looks like. And when I go to reheat this, I will actually go in and re-season everything and you know, do what I do, spice it up a little bit, but I like to make it a little just of a base dish so I can kind of adapt it to whatever I want. So like, if I want to do like a taco wrap or something, then I'll add taco seasoning, you know what I mean? Different things like that. And if I want it with rice, what I purposefully did was I left most of the broth in here. So that way, if I want a soup by itself, I can use this broth for soup. Now y'all, this one is actually our chicken thighs with all of our caramelized veggies and our fresh herbs in there that I ended up leaving in um, and doing some fresh ones towards the end. This one's gonna be really good. I can either just do this with rice and then some more veggies. There's so many options. Again, another great option for a wrap or a sandwich if I wanna shred the chicken. There's endless ways to utilize this this week. And then of course we have our rice. I told you the rice cooker makes it perfect every time. If you see little stuff in there, I left some of the herbs in there. One of the benefits of actually cooking dinner while you meal prep and eating dinner the same night is I've got dinner leftovers of this pesto pasta with the shrimps. And this is what our soup broth mixture looks like. It actually looks really, really good. And I'm gonna put that in the fridge with everything. This is also some homemade salad dressing. It's a really simple recipe. It's just olive oil, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, and a bunch of Italian herbs and spices with a little bit of fresh garlic. This is really good. And just a pinch of salt and pepper. Last but not least, guys, y'all are probably like, what the heck is this brew? This is actually my matcha collagen protein powder. And then I make overnight oats with it with coconut milk and all these really good ingredients, vanilla extract and stuff. I actually throw these in a blender with either a banana or just some ice. And this creates literally the same exact taste as a Starbucks matcha like frappuccino or latte. Not frappuccino, but you know what I mean, like a frozen matcha drink. And it's so good, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my meal prep. It was pretty straight to the point. And then also, last thing I do is I create labels for each of these. And it takes less than three minutes, y'all. You just want to Google, like, how long can pasta stay in the fridge, um, cook pasta stay in the fridge, and last. So all I write was the literally what grocery stores do. I write stored on blank date, and then I say used by blank date. And then certain things like these I'll label, you know, Monday, Tuesday. And that's pretty much how I food prep, not really meal prep, because... Uh, with all these, you can do a million different combinations of uh, dishes for lunch and dinner. So, all right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. I need a little bit of trouble.